Hello everyone, it's day 16. So today's um, topic was market alignment and sort of analyzing yeah, your market and the market feedback that you're getting. So basically this is about you reaching out to people on LinkedIn or through other social media, booking strategy sessions with them where they can get to know you and then trying to convert them into a student, yeah, a client. Now I'm doing this as a bit of a hands-off learner at this point because I'm not able to teach, or I will not be able to uh, teach over the next few weeks, so I'm just observing. But yes, it reminded me of a bit of my business studies. I actually have a degree in international business management, if you didn't know, and. This is about KPIs, key performance indicators. Basically, you check yeah, certain points, um, whether they're doing well or not. So for example, you can check yeah, if I send a message on LinkedIn, or if I try to connect with people, if I try to connect with 100 people, how many of those people actually accept my connection? So if 10 people out of 100 connect with me, then that is yeah, a rate of 10%. And then you can check, okay, out of those connections, how many actually book a strategy session with me? And you can get a percentage of this. And then out of my strategy sessions, how many did I convert into a sale? This is another number. So based on this, you can kind of see how well you're doing, right? And if those numbers are low, and now you have to be careful, right? I think people think of converting a conversion rate of 80% or 90%, but I think I think I heard in email marketing is like 3% or something. So we're talking about small percentages, right? Um, but here they were saying, for example, if your uh, acceptance rate is under 20%, so you send out connections on LinkedIn, you send out 100 and only five people accept it, then this is something that you have to work on. Right. And then you have to go and think through, am I, um, am I trying to connect with the right people? Am I targeting my niche? Or um, is maybe my message not clear? So you have to kind of see yeah, what the problem is. And then you have to make adjustments. And he said you have to make only one adjustment at a time. So if you think uh, maybe my message isn't that great, then you can try to maybe change one sentence and see if that helps. Give it at least two weeks yeah, to see how the new um, change is working and then you can adjust yeah, your message again. So the same was talked about, about the low booking rate. If your booking rate is under 0.5%, yeah, then you have to think about, you know, why are people not um, booking with me? Okay, so one point could be that you're not consistent enough in nurturing your potential clients, right? If you um, not so consistent on social media if you don't post enough or maybe another possibility could be that the nurturing that you're trying to do is of low quality right I think all of us have followed someone on social media and if the posts are not interesting anymore then we just unfollow them right so it's very important to consistently provide high value um, me personally I will say from my perspective I don't expect someone to post every day but maybe a few times a week um, as long as the quality is high I have seen some yeah, online marketeers just recycling their content so much that it got annoying to me and I think there's a balance that you have to find okay the last point was the low conversion rate um, again if people talk to you on strategy sessions about you know, their possible problems and then they don't buy your service. <laughs> well, then you have to check, you know, maybe you're not selling well enough. Yeah, this is so hard for teachers, like selling. I think no teacher like starts teaching thinking about wanting to sell. This is the very last thing on our agenda, but it's important, right? Like if people want to buy, you need to sell. Huh? <laughs> so um, yeah, you just have to <laughs> get better at this, feel more comfortable. Um, yes, again, so many things come back to mindset and the way you think about yourself, your business. So yes, 
this is always in the back of everyone's mind and also with this even though we're like clearly going through you know the, the indicators still when you think about how to improve it i think a lot of it is going to come back to the mindset exactly and then basically based on the feedback that you're receiving maybe you could work again on your niche and make it even a bit more specific so if you realize oh i send 100 messages out to people and all all sales managers replied and all the other people didn't uh, maybe i should target sales managers right so this is all about getting as specific as possible so you can target a specific group as best as possible because there is so much general content already online as we all know okay hope you enjoyed this video again share it with someone who could use it you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. You can give this video a like. I'm happy to see if it resonates with people. And yes, honestly, I'm only doing this to share my experience and talk it out so it sticks in my brain and also just give something to other people. I'm a teacher after all. I enjoy <laughs> yeah, giving to people. And yeah, I hope to see some of you again tomorrow in my video of day 17. Cheers.